Hello everyone! We're going to present a new benchmark for large-scale heritage point cloud semantic segmentation. Here's a short overview of what we're going to illustrate during this presentation. We will review the data set, its objectives, the data acquisition and processing, the class definition, the evaluation of the results, and how to utilize crowdsourcing to enrich this data set. The new data set that we're presenting here is the first benchmark with millions of manually labeled 3D points belonging to heritage scenarios. In order to facilitate the development, training, testing, and evaluation of machine and deep learning algorithms in the heritage field, and it's freely available online. This benchmark originates from the collaboration of different universities, departments and research institutes and it's unique in that it offers for the first time to the research community annotated point clouds describing heritage scenes. So why do we need this new data set? Well the growing ease of point cloud acquisition especially due to the developments of automated image-based solutions, SLAM methods, and laser scanning systems has created an increasing interest in the scientific community towards the use, interpretation, and direct exploitation of point clouds for many different purposes. But there's a lack of benchmarking data for the semantic segmentation of digital heritage scenarios, and this lack is hampering the development of automatic classification solutions in this field. The semantic classification of heritage 3D data would support the community in better understanding and analyzing digital twins, facilitate restoration and conservation work, in addition to speed up the scan to HBIM process. In this latter process, experts are accustomed to handling large and complex data sets without the aid of any automatic or semi-automatic methods in order to recognize and reshape 3D elements. Moreover, this process is very time consuming and leads to the inefficient use of information given the unavoidable simplification exerted. In this scenario, the return from deep learning techniques in several research fields have been plentiful and overwhelming. Therefore, these point clouds are meant to facilitate the development, training, testing, and evaluation of machine learning algorithms as well as its subset of deep learning methods in the heritage field. So, the data set is composed of 17 annotated point clouds. Many of them included in the ARCH benchmark are part or candidate of the UNESCO World Heritage List as the courtroom of Valentino Castle included in the residencies of the Royal House of Savoy from 1997, or the system of sacred mountains of Piedmont and Lombardy from 2003. Other scenes are nevertheless part of historical built heritage and represent various historical periods and architectural styles. This difference could constitute a drawback in the definition of the dataset classes as it introduces elements of heterogeneity within the same classes. However, providing the neural network with a wide array of elements will improve its ability to generalize among various cultural heritage case studies. Among the label scenes of the benchmark, 15 scenes are available for the training set and two for the test set. The test set scenes, labeled A and B, have different characteristics. The first one represents a simple, almost symmetrical building on one level with more standard and repetitive geometric elements while the second represents a complex, non-symmetrical building structured on two levels, surveyed both indoor and outdoor with different types of vaults, stairways, and windows. These two scenes were chosen to simplify the comparison of the results, assess the effectiveness of the proposed algorithms, and try to highlight the generalization and learning capability of the network not only on a relative simple scene, but also on a complex one. The 3D data composing the benchmark are challenging, not only due to their size, but also due to the high measurement resolution and high density. 
Most of the scenes are obtained through the integration of different point clouds acquired with different sensors, such as cameras, scanners, and platforms, such as UAVs. The collected point clouds were initially pre-processed to make the cloud structures more homogeneous. The pre-processing was performed in Cloud Compare and followed three steps, spatial translation, subsampling, and choice of features. The spatial translation was necessary because the geo-referencing of the scenes. The coordinate values had too many digits to be processed by the neural networks, so the coordinates were truncated and every single scene was spatially moved close to the system origin whereas the subsampling operation became necessary due to the high number of points, mostly redundant, in each scene. Finally, the point normals have been computed and oriented. Hence, the point cloud structure is ordered according to spatial coordinates, radiometric components, labels, and normals. The scenes include churches, chapels, porticos, pavilions, cloisters, from European to Asian architecture for a total of about 136 million labeled points. Both indoor and outdoor scenarios are represented. Regarding the number of classes selected to label the dataset, we use the following guidelines. Using the automatic recognition of architectural elements, the authors would like to support and speed up the process of reconstructing 3D geometries for HBIM models. Therefore, it was essential to choose classes for our benchmark that are already available in object-oriented software or the underlying standards. In this way, the output labels of the neural network correspond exactly to the BIM categories and once the geometry has been reconstructed, it will be possible to associate its information directly to the specific class. Semantic annotation of the point clouds according to a city GML level detail, 3 to 4, has been therefore defined and nine classes have been selected. Column, door and window grouped together, roof, stair, wall, floor, vaults, arch and moldings. Another one defined as other containing all the points not belonging to the previous classes have been added. The possibility of further extending this scheme for a higher level of detail like four to five to be exploited for instant segmentation is planned. This benchmark activity will also offer an evaluation of the performances of the segmentation methods if users will submit the predicted results for a given point cloud, we will automatically compare the achieved results with the ground truth ones and provide results in terms of overall accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score, and the intersection over union. Currently, the performances of state-of-the-art point cloud semantic segmentation networks are reported for PointNet, PointNet++, PCNN, DGCNN, and the modified DGCNN. Additional tests are ongoing, and here you can see the best results currently obtained on the two benchmark test scenes. Finally, 11 non-annotated point clouds to be labeled by users are also available on the website for a total of more than 250 million points. Also in this case, some of them are part of UNESCO sites and represent both Italian and French architectures. In this case, given the heterogeneity of the architectural elements, we have provided some guidelines for the annotation of the point clouds to allow other researchers to contribute to the expanding dataset. The dataset has been labeled with common point cloud processing software as Cloud Compare. However, on the benchmark page, an in-house web annotation tool built on the Semantic Segmentation Editor web application is also available for users. So, thank you for listening and have fun with the Arch dataset.